Hey guys, that's funny, you're gonna focus on driving. <laughs> well, my phone's open sure. with information from the tournament, so I have to focus on driving because I can't text and drive. Very well. What's up guys, obviously uh, we did not um, do an update immediately after game 7 or game 8. Um, we uh, really needed to buckle down because it looked like um, originally uh, they were saying that the cut was going to be, was looking at about 277. Um, and, and we were right around the number. Wee! That was fun. Uh, we were right around that number. Um, we we're a little ahead of it. We were still like 30, 40 in, something like that. Well, it went from game um, six to game seven. It was 177 to 277. Made into 100 and something. I don't know if it was exact, but it made like a 110 jump. Yeah, it was, six and seven. it was just something ridiculous. We went from like sitting pretty to like, oh man, this is grind mode. It's time to go, go, yeah. go. Um, game seven. Um, I kind of grinded it out. I shot 204 and it was a clean 204. I just never really had anything going. I think it had like one double. Um, so I was kind of in stress mode a little bit. Um, because scores all around us it looked like they were uh, pretty high. Um, and uh, Scotty was the man. He held me up there. Would you shoot 240? Uh, played four and five. Seven. Seven. Game seven. Oh, yeah, game I went seven. 240. Went 240. Went, I was I on 279 pace. Yeah. And the ball just did just hit something on the lane and it was over the same line I've been going at. It went oh, up and almost left the yeah, big yeah, four yeah. kick the ten. You're, out. you're killing it, yeah. And uh split in the tenth. Still shot two forty, I shot two oh. Um so, so we went up there. But uh, last game, we're like, all right, we got to do this. We got to get in grind mode. Yeah. And uh, Scotty's ball reaction just uh, it, it went away. Down. Yeah, it went horrible. Um, it was hooking on the right lane. He went face twice on the right lane. Um, then tried to make an adjustment, and it barely turned up. Seven ten. Um, so he he grinded it out. Um, I was really proud of him grinding it out. Shot one eighty eight. I think that last game. Yeah, with the two um, splits uh, and two in, uh, in frames two and four. Yeah, it wasn't bad though. Uh, it was actually it was just a really solid one eighty eight. It was grind out one eighty eight. Um, I managed two twenty. I thought it was going to be a lot higher than that. I was looking at like two forty, two fifty going into the ninth and tenth, and uh, I just I couldn't carry the last couple of. Um, last couple of shots and I was I was chucking it I was heaving it from out I was still using my pinup black ops and uh, I was playing like straight up like 12 I was looking and everybody else I mean they were lofting the gutter cap everybody was left deep um, and I, I thought going into that last game like since I only shot 204 game uh, 7 I asked Scotty I was like dude do I move left or do I just tighten up and just keep chucking it and uh, Scotty made the right call. He was like, "Look, you shot 204. Um, you're playing it safe right now. We're we're gonna be close. We need at least 204. It's it's not gonna be, uh, you know, if you move left, maybe you'll find something and shoot a big number. But if you don't, you know, we can't have a 160 game again. So I stayed right, grinded out, shot 220. We went plus a little bit. Um, that got us to 346." keep forgetting the number 346 346 we finished at um and the cut number actually dropped a little bit and uh we ended up qualifying six that guy's crazy too i know right gosh and sudden lane changes no kidding dude it was uh, 277 after seven it was 277 it after dropped seven. 273 <laughs> yeah so it actually backed up um, just a little bit partner, I believe, with the cut. yeah yeah which good to them kind of just met them but it was cool um, good people, and uh, we ended up qualifying sixth, so that's pretty awesome. We're in good contention for tomorrow. Five more games. 23 um, out of fifth. We need to make top five to get inside of that uh, step ladder. 23 out of fifth, that's right. So, But really good position. Uh, five more games in the morning, and then they do Baker step ladder. We're going to get into the top five. Um, we're going to get into the top five for step ladder, and then we're just going to win matches. Absolutely. Um, and go from there. So We bowl best when we have a little fun, that we're relaxed, and we, that's why we make such a good team. We just enjoy yeah. each other's company and just can go out there and kick some Texas butt. That's right, baby. Team Nickel coming at you. Watch out for us. All right, guys, that's going to about do it. Dr. Pankel and Igor signing off. Until next time, keep dropping those nickels, baby. I dropped more than him today. <laughs> oh, peace. <laughs>
but we stayed in the really ghetto side. We stayed over there. <laughs> It is almost 8, we're headed to the bowl. My phone didn't charge at all last night. I feel like I didn't charge at all last night. I'm exhausted. How about you? I'm tired, my tummy hurts. Yeah, my tummy kind of hurts too. Um, hopefully my backup battery has enough juice to last us through. We start bowling practice in 45 minutes. Hopefully we're awake by then. We'll see. Alright, Scotty's looking to drop a nickel. This is game one. We desperately need it. We are bowling horrible this game. Lanes are much, much tighter than they were yesterday. And it has forced us into some weird zones. But Scotty figured it out towards the end here. And he tripped it. Drop the nickel. Alright, good job, Alright, guys, we just finished with game one. It was a little rough. I shot 186, Scott shot 201, but he dropped a nickel. The score seems to be quite as high. There's some people that are killing it, but it's kind of not looking so bueno. So let's see what Scotty does right here. pretty good. This is uh, game two and this is uh, Taylor Goggins on front ten which is not good for us because they are the ones that we were chasing. So we're kind of screwed. Throwing good shots and we cannot carry anything. Meanwhile the guys in the top five are running away with it. Ah, 7 pin. Still a good game. He's going to shoot 289. Scotty's going to shoot 2 And I'm going to shoot 2 team. So, not looking too good. We need a lot of help really quickly. Oh, with the crossover. It's the end of game four. We are bowling horrible. Can't carry anything. And everybody else is bowling good, though. This is Seth Rutledge with front nine. Well, that's a 12 bagger. What's up, bowlers? Obviously, we are on the road. Um, back home. We're actually almost home. I think it was right outside of Albuquerque right now. I think I was asleep there for a little bit. I think Scott was asleep there for a little bit. I was. I don't know, know how we survived. No idea, but I feel like garbage. I'm, I don't feel good. I'm so, I barely, I got ice cream to try to make myself a little happier. And I couldn't even do it. <laughs> my stomach's been upset all day. My allergies are going crazy. I don't know what it is. Um, but, Regardless, even so, we bowled awful this morning, yeah. and the thing was, it wasn't even necessarily that we bowled awful, we had to make extremely quality shots just to even get close to the pocket, and then when we did hit pocket, it was 
guaranteed not a strike. Yeah, it's good, um, good for nine if you hit the ball. It was great for nine. I mean, it was wrap 10, flat 10. It was just ridiculous. I saw a tremendous over-under, which I didn't see yesterday. Um, one thing was we bowled on the low side um, today, and we only had two games on the low side yesterday, and that yeah. was um, the last two games when the lanes were already pretty blown up. Um, so I think that kind of hurt us bowling on the low side. Um, I noticed in practice immediately that it was um, a lot tighter. And I don't know if that's just a characteristic of the low side on fresh or if the lanes were just getting cleaner. Um, so that created more tightness down lane. But either way, I could not do the same thing that I wanted to do yesterday. I tried to start out and it was just so sketchy. Um, if I missed it at all at the bottom, it would never even hit the head pin. Not even come close. I would blast the 3-6 in the face. And so, of course, I tried to slow down, get a little bit more hand into it, and it was through the face. I was like, oh, that's neat. That's really cool. So um, I kind of had to jump in a little bit, not as far as, like, Scott or anything, um, but definitely not anything that I saw yesterday. Not even close. Um, and so I grinded my way the first game for like 180 and then 2-0 and then I shoot 160 the last game and I, I mean the third game and it goes like this. I start off wrap 10, wrap 10, flat 10. So I'm thinking, okay, I need, my ball's not going through the pins the right way, obviously. Um, so I need something to, I need to change something. I had my pin down next with me, um, decide to switch to that. Stayed in the same spot and slowed down, and the ball never hooked. Two eight ten. Like, all right, well, I'm gonna stick with my X. I'll move my feet four right, slow down, and the ball still never hooked. And I two four eight. Like, oh, wonderful. This is cool. All right. So apparently, I went the the wrong way with my ball change there. It's like, well, at least before I was leaving ten pins. At least, let's go back to where I was before. Back the four left with my feet. Um, still change balls to my pin up black ops in hopes that it would just turn the corner a little bit better and get through the pins and I throw a good shot and it cuts straight through the face three six uh three four six ten sweet that's really cool one shot over hooks one shot doesn't hook that's great so from there it's like all right let's try it again pin up black ops this time move three more left with my feet so in six frames I've moved four right four back, and then three more left, and I finally struck. Like, sweet, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna strike out, I'm good right here. Throw another great shot, wrap 10. It's just really frustrating, and, and that's why yesterday I had success just going straight, because I was just chucking in the dirt. But today we didn't have the dirt, and it forced everybody uh, a little bit for, farther inside. So we ended up 12th, we backed up. Um, tried to back ourselves completely out of it and, and pretty much succeeded um, but still cash still made money it was still a good trip even though I feel like garbage it was still a pretty good trip pretty fun um, well run tournament thank you Trey Sledge uh, uh, that's like I don't know the third or fourth time I've done that this year qualified decent for match play or semifinals and then just completely tank and go the other way and get pins back so I got to figure that out on my end figure out how to become more aggressive to get even stronger as the tournament goes because right now it's going the opposite direction but we've got two weeks of practice and then we have the New Mexico Open coming up week. you get two weeks <laughs> I got all kinds of crap <laughs> <laughs> and then the week after the New Mexico Open we're going to Phoenix for a regional um, at least I am I don't know if you're deciding yet but uh, we'll see how the New Mexico Open goes and whether I'm just going to hide in my closet until the U.S. Open. <laughs> I feel like death. Um, it hurts to throw quality shots. Yeah, it hurts. I'm in pain from throwing quality it, shots. It's I, garbage. I doubled, I doubled in five games versus the eight games yesterday. In only five games, I doubled the amount of single pin leaves I had. <laughs> and I tripled the amount of splits I had. Oh, yeah. Easily. It was nuts. Just horrible ball reaction all around. So, in retrospect, the only thing that I could think would be maybe for myself, um, trying to stay where I was, throwing in the dirt, or what was dirt, 
or what should have been dirt, and just balling up and maybe sanding the crap out of something like a, uh, like my Respect Solid or a Dream On or something like that, and just trying to force a reaction out there, but, man, I don't know. Um, I could carry yesterday because I was farther to the right, so I had a little bit better entry angle, but today from the right, I just couldn't even get into the pocket. So, got anything else, Scotty? practice balling left-handed on house shots. <laughs> right? Oh, man. There was a lot of really good lefties. Um, so they were all kind of helping each other, kind of building a shot. Um, and they made it work. It was just ridiculous. Their scoring pace was nuts. I don't know what uh, Martin's partner finished with. but Congratulations on winning. Did they win? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see. I was too pissed off. Mark and Aaron. <laughs> Mark and Aaron won. Congratulations, Mark and Aaron. Um, great bowling all weekend. That was awesome. Now we're going to head home and uh, contemplate the meaning of bowling on house shots. Alright, we are back in Albuquerque. Until next time, don't be like us. Start and keep dropping those nickels. Fair enough. <laughs> Peace. Nope.